Hello and welcome to Conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. I'm Brenda and we're here today with another episode of Free Pattern Friday. <laughs> the other Free Pattern Friday we did suspenders, well now we're doing a buckle. And this is one of those patterns that you would lay out uh, a block, you would lay one way and then the next way on the other side and you go back and forth, flip it and flop like that. And it does create a very unique visual. Now, I don't know how to do those kind of visuals to show you, so yeah, you just kind of have to, you know, take the, the block and flip it and flop it around in your head. It looks really kind of cool. But one of the things I want to talk to you about before we get to the sewing, of course, we always have to do a shout out. And I want to talk to you about Ashley from Ashley Sunny Made. Now her channel is new and it, she looks like she's very talented. So you guys should go check her out and tell her that Conquering Mount Scrapmore sent you and you know sent you to her to her channel. And her show her YouTube channel is gonna be in the show notes below, just like we always have like cutting instructions and everything. We always have a whole bunch of stuff in the show notes. The other thing is we have a Facebook group. And that Facebook group has the rooms that we're using as sew dates and we're sewing, you know, 24 seven. It's all sorts of fun. We're having a great time in there. We share pictures and we comment, we ask questions. It's, it's a lot of fun in there. The other thing that's in there is the zoom sew dates. The zoom link is different from the room in the Facebook group and that's for everybody. And you can see the dates from now until December as to when we will be doing those Zoom links. Uh, another thing, share, like, subscribe. I cannot tell you how much we need to share, like, and subscribe. Commenting, I love to hear from you. I really do. I think, you know, the more comments we get, the more I think I'm, re I'm actually, you know, reaching out and talking to people and whatnot. You know, I kind of get a sense of where you guys want us to go with this, what kind of patterns you're interested in. Also, I'm still doing free speaking engagements for any guild that's out there that's having a tough time finding speakers or needs a break from paying expensive speakers. I do them for free. I speak for free. Yes, that's right. I speak for free. I get to see their show and tell. So I speak for free. And I'm always surprised at all the wonderful cultures that are out there. So come on in. We got a fun little sewing project for you today. Okay, so here we are and we're back at the sewing machine. The first thing we have to, it's basically you got to look down at this block as, okay, there's an inside bit and then there's an outside bit. All right, the inside bit, basically, I took a six and a half inch strip of background and I cut it right down the middle. So now I've got a one inch piece and it doesn't change the six and a half. This will always measure up back at six and a half inch. So now I just have to sew it together with a little blue bit in there. So I'm just gonna run that through. And the next one is just basically three, a two and a half inch strip. And then we have another piece of like six and a half, cut it in two, it's three and a quarter. So you can either do, you know, you can cut, depending on the size of your scraps that you're working with, right? So I'm just gonna lay this down here. It's gonna end up being a real, kinda ends up being a cute little thing. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a leader ender project, which I'm just, I have a great big one beside me and I just don't think it's appropriate to be sewing it while we're doing this because it's too big. Takes too long. Okay. And we always are pressing towards the dark. Okay. Yeah, I found this this fabric in my blue shoe box. I'm still working on a shoe box of blue, trying to move it out of my scraps. Yeah. So basically this is being webbed together, but I can't sew it the other direction together. So I have to kind of take it apart. Okay, so I can take these two pieces off now. Goes to the blue, press to the blue. So this now should measure six and a half. Oh, it does. Close enough. This is going to measure six and a half. Yeah, so I've 
been busy trying to get through all of my blue in that shoe box in the orphan box challenge, but I am still I'm trying to I should I am so overrun with blue in this in the sewing room that it's time I sit down and make a blue quilt of something. I'm not sure if it would even make a dent. But oh well. Now I'm going to finger press this. Uh, there. See, you only get half inch of blue, right? See, it's still six and a half inches, right? So that's, it's, uh, when you put an inch in, I know some of you are looking at the, the cutting instructions going, wow, that's such a tiny little piece. Yes, it is. It is a tiny little piece, but it works out perfectly for this. Okay, now. Okay, I think this would be fun done all with, you know, uh, a, uh, a dark, a medium, and a light. I think this would be, you know, it would be fun as a scrappy quilt, but, but, uh, <laughs> ooh, make sure it doesn't slip in the back. There we go. This is why you have a leader ender. Okay. There we go. So now this all goes back here. Just like so. And now we can, because this is the same size as this and this, we can web it together like the, the old fashioned, you know, the normal webbing that I do. That's why I say, I think this block would look great in a quilt, all done, you know, within the same family. You know, like I have a dark, a medium, and a light. I think it would look great. And it would be fun to, it'd be fun to sew up, too. Okay. Alright, now. Okay, and now this, for some reason, is just a hair longer. So I'm going to match up the ends, and I'm going to ease in the top. The bigger piece is on the bottom. Okay. And the smaller piece is on top. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this so. Okay. This goes this way. This goes this way. Oops. Um, and this goes the other way. It goes like that. So you're pressing towards the blue. So I'm just going to lay it all out there again. Right? So you can see what we're doing. I know some people, they don't like webbing because it's so confusing. No, it's okay. It is. It is okay. And my I just became unthreaded. Oh, okay. Hang on. Technical difficulties. <laughs> okay. We got my machine threaded again. Sorry about that. So, we're just going to sew along here. Uh, maybe it is time for this one to go to the spa. Okay. We put the long piece down. And... There. Now I'm going to make sure that my seam is flipped the right way. And there. Okay. I should have saved all the thread I'm wasting on not having a, a leader ender here beside me. Because that's, you'd see why people, because when you're doing it leader ender, with a leader ender, you no, don't, you hardly have any thread waste. You have waste from, you know, other things in your, your fabric garbage, but, or the pet bed stuffing or whatever, but you don't have thread. 
which people don't understand. Okay, so here we are. Now we go the other way. And let's see. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to clip where, because I've got a few stitches in, and I want to make sure I nest really well. Okay, and I want to make sure I nest really well down here, and I'm not flipping the stitches, I'm not flipping this seam, I want to make sure that's not going on. So. Oh, oh. Starting to flip the top of the seam, not the bottom, which is weird. <laughs> But hey, you know, we can make mistakes too. Okay. Now, we get that other piece of thread off. And we're just going to press this way. Press away from all those seams in the middle. Okay, and... my needle down in, clip my threads, make sure I've got a good nest. Nesting here at that point. Because that's what makes your block look really, you know, sharp. it again with my fingers and we head towards our ta-da moment. So here's our buckle block. Now when if I was going to lay them out in a quilt I would lay one this way and then one this way then one this way and then one this way right just to have a little bit of fun with this block so it would it uh, you know I think it would be great uh, the light medium and dark like a like a light medium and dark in the same kind of color family. I think this would be a really cute, scrappy little way to do this. Now, I'm going to show you the back of the block. Those little blue pieces, because they're only an inch wide, disappear on the back because by the time you fold it in on one quarter on each side, right, there's no blue showing in the back, right? So this block lies really flat because of the way I've sewn it, right? now. You know, there's arguments, you know, whatever, but I just think it's adorable. I do hope you give this one a try. And I think it would look, it looks kind of, it looks fun. It just looks like a fun little funky block. Um, you could use uh, like three two and a half inch squares if you wanted across. You know, if, if that was your thing and you're trying to get rid of your two and a half inch squares, that's another way of doing that, this block. So... Until we see each other again, I hope you have an absolutely awesome week ahead, and life treats you very gently. Okay, you take care, right? Bye! My husband and I would love to thank you for all of the amazing people that we have met along this crazy YouTube adventure that we've been having. Uh, we do free speaking engagements too, so if you're part of a guild and they're looking for you know, people to talk and, you know, and chat with, you know, in their uh, monthly meetings. Tell them that I'm doing free ones just to help the guilds out because it's been a tough time for the guilds as well. You know, share, like, and subscribe with your friends, you know. Make sure that they're, you know, they, they, they get the word out on us. That's, I mean, that's the best way you can do to help us out. So, until we meet again, I want to thank you. Okay, goodbye.